what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So something is about to explode and nobody can control it. Nobody can stop it from happening. But I want to address what that is. First off, I want to explain one thing. I've been getting a lot of questions over the past few days from people asking about gas prices. They want to know what's happening with oil. They want to know what's happening with the refineries. They want to know how much more they should expect to pay for gas prices moving forward into 2023. Or is it possible that gas prices will get a little bit cheaper? Well, according to reports, gas prices are going to surge. And there's one reason why. Now, what is that one reason? Well, they say it's because of China. Right here, you can see this, this story says, Chinese rush for exit as Beijing ends zero COVID and opens its doors. What does this mean? Well, here's what this means. So China is now uh, going away from their zero COVID policy, which means a couple things. First, it means uh, people don't just have to lock down. That's a big one. But here's the biggest one. Here's the biggest reason why things are changing. Monday's decision to end quarantine for all arrivals, including Chinese nationals returning home and scrap most testing requirements from January 8th, removed the last major remnant of Beijing's efforts to eradicate the virus. Now, it's not only that, but now there, now you can go to China. You can travel you know, away from China and come back. Don't have to worry about a quarantine. Guess what? more people are traveling. In this article, they are talking about how the, the amount of travelers increased. The amount of people that are, that are leaving China just skyrocketed. People want to get away. They're doing whatever they can to get away. Now, here's what I can tell you. This is going to increase the amount of outbreaks we have. Yeah, but the big thing, the big factor here is this is going to allow people to travel, but it's going to make gas prices more expensive, okay? Especially here in the US. Let me show you what the chart looks like right now. Here's a chart. This is as of today, December 27th. You can see it right here. But as of today, gas prices, a national average is $3.10. That's here in the US. Now, Currently it's three dollars and ten cents. Yesterday it was three dollars and ten cents. It went up just, just a little bit, not big. A week ago, three dollars and twelve cents. A month ago, three dollars and fifty-five cents. But a year ago, this is what is big. Let me show you what is ha what happened over the past year. Okay, look at this. So today it's three dollars and ten cents. A year ago, the average price per gallon was three dollars and twenty-eight cents. Okay, now look at this. Currently, a gallon of diesel is $4.67. It was $4.68 yesterday, $4.74. A week ago, $5.22. A month ago, right, so it's coming down. The issue is we are still more than a dollar and 10 cents up from last year. Last year, we were at $3.56. Now we're at $4.67 for one gallon of diesel. That's concerning. That's very concerning because you know what that means? That means food prices are still on the rise. That means construction material still on the rise. But one of the reasons why we have seen gas prices continue to fall is actually because of what happened here in the United States. We saw extreme cold temperatures. But let's read this article for a second. This is from Reuters. It says oil steady as US output ramps up after freeze, China eases COVID curbs. So here it says oil prices were steady after hitting a three week high on Tuesday as restarts at some US energy plants shut by winter storms offset gains stemming from hopes of a demand recovery as China eases its COVID-19 restrictions. Now, what this article is, is talking about is they're talking about the price per oils going up, okay? That's what they're talking about here. But what I'm addressing is the cost of gas prices are going up as well, okay? When oil prices go up, and which is happening because 
of obviously the freeze, which shut down some refineries, right? But all in pipelines, but also because of China reopening. Let's go back and look at this. It says refineries along the Gulf Coast began to resume operation and ramp up production after an Arctic blast some temperatures well below freezing and led to power, instrumentation, and steam losses at facilities along the U.S. Gulf Coast. The cold also cut oil and gas production from North Dakota to Texas, output of about 450,000 to 500,000 barrels of oil per day was curtailed over the Christmas weekend in the, the back end oil fields, uh, the North Dakota Pipeline Authority said. But even though we saw less production, we saw a lot less usage, okay? Even though we didn't supply as much oil as we normally do, there was a, a decrease in barrels per day, that, that's fine because we didn't have the demand that we normally do. Right around Christmas time, uh, which this past you know few days were, right around that holiday season, we get a lot of travel, airline travel. Guess what? When we saw 20,000 flights get canceled, well, this hurts a lot of people, right? This hurts millions and millions of people. This means we are not using fuel, which means it's still there uh, at part of our supply, which we can use it in, you know, another time. But also, people are not traveling by car. Why not? Well, the roads are icy. You look at New York, they were buried in snow, right? They were getting snow down in Tennessee in a time when they were not expecting it. Okay, we saw you know, freezing temperatures in Texas and here in Washington State and in many different you know, locations throughout the United States. We saw a lot of changes, but all these things contributed to one thing, and that is the demand dropped. So that's one of the reasons why we saw gas prices slowly come down over the past few days. But keep in mind, this is what experts are telling us, is that now that we are expecting warmer weather over the next couple of weeks, they're expecting demand is going to surge because those people that couldn't travel over the holiday season, they might decide to travel now. If that is the case, we are going to see a delay. So here's what I can tell you. Expect gas prices to go up. Some say they are going to explode and we could potentially be paying 50 cents more in the near future. Now, when they say near future, they're talking about the start of spring. My expectation is gas prices are gonna hit this little uh, you know, blip, they're gonna go up, and then we will see them fall back down over the next couple of months. Now, keep this in mind. Some are anticipating gas prices are gonna drop below that $3, um, that $3 benchmark. We are only 10 cents away from it right now. We're at $3.10 right here. So, if we see it continue to drop, and we could, this could actually happen within the first couple of weeks of January. And if this does happen, we are below that $3 threshold. Well, this is good news. Now, this is the bad news. The bad news is that the Biden administration is attempting to get more and more Americans to go and buy electric vehicles. Well, if gas prices in the, is in you know, the two to $3 range, electric vehicles do not seem so appealing, especially when they're 30, 40, 50, $60,000 or more. You get a new Tesla Model X, you're spending over $100,000, right? And you know, there's the new Rivians that are coming out, which look you know, pretty impressive. Now, something like that costs quite a bit less. But again, this is if you already purchased them. So here's what I can tell you. Be ready for gas prices to go up. That's what we're expecting. I don't anticipate we are going to see the Biden administration step in to stop gas prices, especially when they're at the $3.10 range. My expectation is they're not trying to battle gas prices simply because they're not up for re-election for another couple years. So with that said, gas prices will likely start going back up in the near future. When they do, we'll likely settle around that $3.50 to $3.75 range, but that will most likely be the spring and summer of 2023. So I know a lot of you guys were asking what is happening with gas prices. Well, that is what we know at this time. So as always, as I know more, I promise I'll come back on and share all latest news and updates again. Thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.